Rebuilding the raised Macquarie University main building is the word in the mouth and the minds of many who went through the gates of the first institution of higher learning in the land. All those people who went through Macquarie, maybe they can contribute some money, as they did in France. Remember when this church was burnt, Notre Dame, that church? People contributed, and now they are trying to rebuild it. So my hope is that government would need really to channel funds and, and, and uh, reconstruct this building as fast as it can, without even having to call for us to put in money. In the words of an architect, it could be years before the iconic structure gets restored to its original state. It's not going to be a quick project. And um, uh, the, the decision should not be emotional. It should be I mean, technical and um, uh, re you know, re with realism. You know, um, how, what's the cost of rebuilding what was destroyed? If you want to maintain a lot of the old things in the building, it's going to cost more money because you need to support everything. Crucial for undertaking the development within the time frame is how fast the original plan and designs can be obtained. We have the blueprints, we have also a lot of photographic information, and the intention is to restore it to its former state. There is the possibility of altering the structural design dictated by the strength of the charred walls. All the walls are cracked, which means there are no columns there. And of course, if we are restoring the building, there is no way we are going to restore it without reinforced concrete columns. To avoid a significant visual alteration, Subuga talks of having the structure reinforced with additional pillars or walls from the inside. Any of the works on the building means the university is racing against time and money. It will not be below 10 billion. Yeah, to do it properly, it will not be below that. Yeah, you can make it cheaper and you get the result, but if, was, if you do it properly, about that much money to get the structure, the systems, the firefighting. The government value are valued it at 15.4 billion. But if we are going to restore it, I believe it will cost more. It will cost more because we are not going to use the same technology which was used to build it at that time. The construction of the main building, famously known as the Ivory Tower, was completed in 1941. Jackson Onyango, NTV. <laughs> Oh,